Hello friends, Doug Fink, back again with some more PowerShell AI. Got some really cool things to show you. You know, when you struggle at the command line, like what flag do I use, what options can I use, and especially when it comes to Git. Well, there's a new wizard in town. So if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and get the notification bell going so that you can see more videos I'm gonna put out on PowerShell AI. Let's get going. PowerShell AI basically, it, it integrates ChatGPT in essence, the REST APIs into your command line. So that gives you a lot of leeway, or it gives me a lot of leeway to add pieces to the module to make life really simple or simpler. Um, so you ever work with Git and you try to figure out how to do something and then you go off the Stack Overflow or you start Googling around and you know, then you gotta get figure out, well, what was I doing now to get back to the console and figure out how to actually execute these things well I've added a new function called git with a question mark and uh, in quotes you can basically pose your question and when you press enter like here I'm saying I want to list remotes and we'll go off to GPT and it comes back and it says you can use JIT git remote hyphen V now what's cool about the git question mark is you don't have to craft your prompt with you're a Git expert or use Git and you know understand how to use the Git CLI and all its flags. I've already done that for you inside the function itself and you can crack open the module and take a look at that if you want. So this is just a really super handy way to do things. So list remotes, it shows me uh, how to do it. Now I can press enter and I'm gonna ask another question. What happens, if, what ha how about if you wanna cancel a merge? Okay, so let's ask and get GPT comes back and says, well, you can use git merge hyphen hyphen abort. Awesome. These things I don't memorize and often have challenges with. I'm trying to figure out what it was and how to look it up. Like, am I gonna look at the git man pages or am I gonna, how am I gonna Google it? So on and so forth. So what if I wanna undo an ad that I did? Okay, so git question mark, undo ad, and I can do a git reset head on the file that I want to undo an ad. Moving on, let's say I want to remove files I've added to git ignore. That's a good question. Let's see what it says. Well, you can do a git rm minus r hyphen cached on those files. Um, so let's say I want to figure out all the commits. I want to list all my commits. And this is, there we go, git log hyphen hyphen one line. So you can see I'm pressing enter and that the default is to quit. So this is based on the co-pilot that I wrote for PowerShell AI. Uh, and it gives you the options where I can either type in Y to run the command or E, I can further explain it. C, I can copy to the clipboard. And I have a new feature called VS Code where you can press V and if it's VS Code is installed, you'll get this menu option. And then when you press V, it'll actually output it into VS Code for you. Or you can type Q or just press enter to uh, not do anything. So now let's list all commits containing the word fix. Anybody know how to do it off the top of your head real quick? Okay, that's how you do that. And then let's do the same one, except by the ones I did. And it adds the hyphen hyphen author. Okay. Now let's do all that, but I only want to output fewer lines when it, when it comes back. Um, not sure that did it. Typically it would say like a hyphen hyphen one line, but no problem. And that's what I wanted to show you how to use the Git uh, question mark. Now this also runs on Mac and Linux. Um, so if you're using those and you're using PowerShell, download the PowerShell AI module and uh, see what's going on. Thanks for watching and check out the other videos I have on PowerShell AI goodness and uh, I'll see you on the next one.